Do you remember when I said I'm not equipped to be handling high voltage? Well, it doesn't get much more high voltage than a nuclear reactor that seems to be having multiple meltdowns. <laughs> Unless this thing can get fixed with a rusty shovel, we should probably all start running. I, I don't know how I managed to get here, but this doesn't feel good. In fact, this is probably what a microwave burrito feels like. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Raft, where I think I may have been traveling north for a little bit too long. Like, snow is concerning. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this. And, like, I know it's really easy to forget with the engines and the personal farm and the roof piano, but, like, I I've been fighting to survive here, and I can't imagine any of those things are going to be particularly helpful when I freeze to death in my sleep will prove me wrong right off the bat. Okay, I, I take it back. Snow and hammock hypothermia are gonna have to be two and three on my problems list because clearly number one deserves to be the ice that's so thick it could make an anime girl's thighs jealous. Like, what do you mean? I'm clearly not supposed to get through this, right? My raft isn't equipped for that. The only thing that could split ice like this are area codes. Yeah, we may have to go on foot. I really don't like the idea of leaving the raft, though. Especially considering I'm basing all of this off of a post-it note that I stole from a sea hobo's nest. Like, I, I just assumed that the coordinates would point me toward, like, civilization or a, a group of survivors. Not a village of elves. Should I be worried about you guys? Like, while the automated sprinkler system may be ingenious, I'm thinking they're probably not going to want to take a shower in, well, this. Then again, I also don't want you messing up my room, so tough titties, I suppose. I'm going to make sure that I have lots of water for the journey. And foods, we're running a little low on food. I got one shark steak, two mutant rat steaks. You know what? Desperate times call for desperate measures. We're gonna have to cook the shoe potatoes. I know, some of you guys are thinking that's crazy, but guess what? Once you're cooter deep in snow, beggars can't be choosers. Is this a stupid idea? It feels stupid and crooked. Like, I'm trying to run straight, but it's as if like I'm missing a shoe? Oh. No, I'm just sliding on sea ice that should freeze more or less flat, shouldn't it? I mean, I'm not going to claim to be some kind of ice biologist, but like, unless this baked potato is throwing off my gravity. I, I know I made jokes about the North Pole earlier, but I didn't think we would actually find it. <laughs> Not a bad thing, though. I can't imagine post-apocalyptic Santa has a whole lot of visits to make, so maybe he'd be willing to give me a brand new snowmobile and a pet. I'm not going to count out the possibility that this thing has been surviving off of an all-reindeer diet. So let's plan for the worst, but hope for the best. Or maybe somewhere in the middle. Maybe you're not a pet kind of guy. Maybe you just like to... I don't know, sell me some coke? No, I, I meant like, you know, the, the, the tooth rotting drink, not the tooth rotting powder. Come on, don't do this to me. Please stop eating me. <laughs> Listen, if you want my baked potato, you're gonna have to pry it from my cold dead hand. I'll tell you that much. Why do they always make me do it? I don't understand. We could have been friends. And now instead you're gonna be a rug and steakums. We're just all gonna pretend like I didn't miss that refrigerator-sized target that bum-rushed me. Are you beeping? Should you be beeping? That seems... off? Okay, uh, don't worry everyone, I am certified, trained, I'm sure everything... is broken, ooh. <laughs> well, uh... If I wasn't on the naughty list before, I definitely am now. Interesting. What do we have here? I've already lost Miranda. 
I will not lose you too, Henry. The two of us have followed a signal far south. I know it's from my sister. There's no doubt. Henry is skeptical. He thinks the cold will be dangerous. I'm most scared of whatever's out there in the snowstorm. Did he just say south? Are you trying to tell me that my uh, microwave oven Pringles can radar is somehow inaccurate? Okay, um... Well, that could be a problem. Well, then the good news is I broke the South Pole. No, the less important of the two. But the bad news is I'm probably not gonna find any holly jolly help down here. Not interested in picking a fight with your prehistoric jagged glowing ass. No, 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 let me out. Other than the fact that that's probably cold enough to kill me. Don't mind if I do. Okay. There, there, there's gotta be somebody here, right? I'm so tired of going from place to place and finding... Absolutely no one. They even made sure to have a tree without any decorations. <laughs> like, is it personal? Because it feels personal. It feels like they're rubbing it in at this point. Okay, I, I get it. I, I made a silly mistake. I'm only human. There's bears all over this frozen island. Yeah. One of them completely wrecked the boat when we tried to get away. None of the usual tricks worked either. Henry and I would have been eaten if that boy with the air horn hadn't showed up. His name is Detto. Says he came here with some survivors. I asked Henry if I should trust the boy. But I didn't get an answer. Detto was a survivor from Caravan Town, wasn't he? So maybe they all showed up here and found... This research facility, oh yeah, it's a bunch of scientists. So there weren't any elves, but you know, there were people. Or there there are people, there, there still have to be people around, right? They couldn't have all become bear poop. I'm sure there's still power to this place. Weird, yeah, so if there's electricity, then there has to be internet. I was gonna say people, but, uh, you know what? In all reality, there's probably more titties on the internet than there are left in the world. Could I maybe... get this up and running? No. <gasps> Why is this a perpetual hell? This place looked like an observatory from the outside, right? So, we should find ourselves a great big honkin' Mundy Model 8 up here. I don't see how that's going to be any more helpful in my survival than boob pictures, but then again, what do I know? I suppose we could always go ahead and observe the giant middle finger I'm getting from the universe. Uh-huh, yeah, I've been feeling that for a while. We also have a child's drawing of a boat. Great, practicing fractions on that. I don't have a code for you yet, that's for friggin' sure. Oh, this is interesting. So it was an anchor that we just saw. Anchor 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. We've got ourselves another scribble of a square-assed ostrich. Yeah, I'm sure that's a very collectible one. And then you, my good sir, have a clue, maybe? The boat is ready to go. Detto is ready with the air horn, and Ruben can at least walk. Henry is staying behind. It's bittersweet. He doesn't speak with me anymore, but I think it's safer for someone to stay behind. Detto says there's a place with lots of people. Ruben says Astrid might be there. She definitely isn't here in this cold place. It's nice talking to people. Oh, no. You're Henry? So you were the only one Bruno had to talk to, and Bruno is now gone, which means you're all I have left. You and my potato. You know what, Henry? I think I'm picking up what you're putting down now. So we have the anchor, which is eight, the spear, which is two, the shark, which is three, even though it doesn't have any number written on it, the seagull, which would be seven, and then I found a bunch of doodles. We've got the square-assed ostrich, the funky fish, the hook, and the boat. 
which would probably correspond to a number of stars, and then that would be the code to the safe. Does that make sense? Let's see if we can find this stuff somewhere out in space. A little something over here. That would be the spear. Uh, oh man, I'm, I'm no space biologist. In my defense, it's a little bit ridiculous that they gave this thing Fisher-Price sized controls. I shouldn't have to turn my head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So then the code would be five, nine, six, four. Does that sound right to anybody? I mean, I guess it'll sound right or wrong to you. Five, nine, six, four. Oh, we got the Celine key. I'll take it. An advanced stationary anchor. Okay. So we got a key to a place that we haven't seen yet. Guess we're gonna go back outside. It just dawned on me that I don't need to be flip-flopping my way through the night like this. I've got myself a snowmobile that I'm sure no one will mind that I borrow. Okay. Ooh. Oh, 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 right. Yep, it handles about as well as you would expect a snowmobile to handle in a game about rafting. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, treacherous at best. We're fine. We're, everything is fine. We're just gonna keep. What is that? Oh, okay. Hold on. Let's just deal with you really quick. We take that and. Huh. I don't think the Aurora Borealis usually comes out of cooling towers, so that's a little concerning. One problem at a time, though. Excuse me. You got any coke? I don't think he was gonna tell us what these scientists were experimenting on. He may have been able to tell us if they were delicious or not, but uh, that up there is definitely my number one concern right now. It's not gonna stop me from pulling cables out of mystery machines, but I will keep it in the back of my mind. I think we saw some kind of like bay or garage or entrance over here. It's a thing. I have a key to get into a thing. Are you locked? Thing. No. Doesn't look like it. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yup. Definitely cooling towers. That's not good. Yeah, that would explain why there's still power in this place, which is a good thing, but I get the feeling radioactive fallout in places where there clearly shouldn't be is a bad thing. The Selene Research Facility. This must be what I have a key for. And all I need to use it is a blowtorch. Great. I'm going to assume that the snow is potted like this in certain places because it's often traveled, so maybe I should follow it. I went all the way back to my raft and checked. I don't have a blowtorch. I don't have the ability to make a blowtorch. So clearly I, I need to find one. Yeah, that might help. Oh, should I have not been screwing with your electrical grid? <laughs> Listen, that that's my bad. No. <laughs> Anybody home? Hello? Oh, I can't make friends worth a damn. Wait, 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 wait. Do you guys hear that? I think this thing is still running. So if this is actually producing electricity, then maybe I can start running cables all around town. Like there, oh, yeah, that, that's definitely high voltage and working. <gasps> I am not equipped for this. <laughs> How about here? No, oh, too far. This is gonna be more complicated than it should be. Okay, let's try up here good there we go okay hopefully i have enough cables yeah and that's how we're gonna get in not really looking to do some lifting right now thanks i'm running out of cable really need a blowtorch soon nothing everybody has the same stupid picture and a nobel prize Imagine getting a Nobel Prize and be like, yeah, okay, now you're gonna spend the rest of your life working in the Arctic, sleeping with vending machine tokens. Just doesn't really seem like the best. Oh, I think this is the big building in the middle. This might be the most important one. If I can do... There we go. There's gotta be a blowtorch in here somewhere. Right? Oh, there's a vending machine! 
<laughs> Great! I can get myself decorative plants and the same photos. No wonder everybody only has a couple. Welcome, Matt. I'll, I'll, I'll figure that out later right now. I just need a friggin' blowtorch. Anything? Nothing. I'm seeing a whole bunch of garbage lying around. Pool table. Again, wouldn't mind dragging this back to my raft. Oh, 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 here we go. Yes. Perfect. Does anyone know what the early signs of radiation poisoning looks like? Because my hunger and thirst haven't moved in a while. It's just constantly full. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, I swear if I start glowing in the dark after this, the potato isn't going to be the only thing around here that's baked. Can I please just... Here we go. Beautiful. Probably could have just licked it, right? Or boiled some water or something. Key goes in. Do I even want to go in here? Honestly, like... I don't think there are going to be any survivors in here, and what do I care if there's a meltdown? All the polar bears can eat shit and die. Oh, no. Do you remember when I said I'm not equipped to be handling high voltage? Well, it doesn't get much more high voltage than a nuclear reactor that seems to be having multiple meltdowns. Unless this thing can get fixed with a rusty shovel, we should probably all start running. I don't know how I managed to get here, but this doesn't feel good. In fact, this is probably what a microwave burrito feels like. I don't want to be here anymore. Hello. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Please, door, can you work with... Is this like some kind of joke? Can I, can I maybe? There we go. Oh, that's the good stuff. That good stuff only lasts for a limited amount of time. What? Don't think for a second I missed the golden retriever sized cockroaches down there. But right now my concern is that the suits are temporary, disposable even. Not sure how I feel about that. I am called Sparrow. Whoever finds me know that I held humanity's interest first. Always. I was sent to Selene alongside two colleagues, one of which I discovered was a mole by the investors. Had Owl been allowed to come to Selene, the knowledge of this unlimited green energy would have been monopolized by the same people who caused this mess to begin with. The other colleague I had left behind. I did not trust you. I couldn't. It was too much of a risk. I hope you did give up. I'm sorry, what was that? I could barely hear you over the nuclear meltdown that's happening right next to this vending machine token. Is this what screwed the world? Is this why everything is flooded? Lab 2 seems to be the only thing that's open right now, so I suppose we'll see what's going on down here. Oh, that can't be good for you. Hello? I don't suppose the Hulk is down here, still holding down the fort? Sure doesn't look like it. Oh, there's a puzzle. Great. So we've got PM and a bunch of stuff that's turned off. Not particularly helpful. Okay, out here we've got nothing. Am I missing something? I thought it was a puzzle, but maybe not. PMCL, okay, more chemicals. And then CEHG. I'm gonna glow in the dark before I figure this out. Okay, I think it's just the table of elements. So Prometheum is 61. I don't have the table of elements memorized, I just have it written down. And I only got so much time. Okay, well, maybe we'll just check to see if I'm right first. Chlorine would be 17. And then Probibium, pro, uh, uh, Rodidium was uh, 37? Yes, 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 okay. Did not think that was ever gonna come in handy. <laughs> Can't believe I had to Google the table of elements. How are we doing? Not good, not, not particularly good. That looks important. Control rod, definitely important. Oh, come on. Why do they have razor fangs? Hi! 
Well, I can't go up, so I guess we have to go even further down. Yeah, all right. What needs fixing down here? <laughs> a lot? I'm gonna assume a lot. What was this lady thinking? Okay, rotate that smoothly. Ooh, ooh, I'm rotating, I'm rotating. Oh, I'm rotating, ow. It only hurts a little bit. It, it, please stop. Please, oh, it, it prevents me from rotating. You idiots, will you, you give it up? I'm trying my best to rotate here. The suit is gonna run out. Stop, 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 stop. Are they just gonna keep coming until... We good? Back to rotating. I gotta open that door. And I still got half my suit left. Couple of stabby holes in it, but that's okay. Come on, come on, come on. Who makes doors like this? What's the point? Ooh. Okay, I just, I, you know what? I don't even want what you guys have. Don't care, I'm not gonna eat you. Getting out of here. I'll be taking control rod number two. Thank you very much. How many control rods do I need? Probably three, knowing my luck. On to lab one, or should I put the control rods in here somewhere? This is interesting. What do you want me to do? Just spin you around? Oh no. Let me guess. Lasers. Lasers that hurt? Oh, lasers that, oh, lasers that hurt. Okay, crap. My god, I'm so close. I'm so close. Yes. Yes, yes, come on. I don't have a whole lot of suit left. That was some real Legend of Zelda bullshit right there. That took me like 15 minutes. Thank you. The Celine facility was built for one purpose. Master and perfect the experimental reactors used to power the floating cities. No easy task, but it has been done, in theory. Yet, we do not have the people to construct anything but a basic prototype. It can be built for real, I know it. We just need more people. There's a place where the rafters live in peace with any survivors of the old world. They call it Utopia. Maybe there we can begin to reverse the damage we've done. But uh, we received a message from them yesterday. One of the investors has taken control of the community. Olaf Wilkstrom. I fear his intentions with this potential haven. Okay, hold up. That was a whole lot. So first, this isn't what caused the world to flood. This was built as a response, trying to power the floating cities. But more importantly, Dedo and all of the rumors we've heard of Utopia are true? He was right? There is a Utopia? And apparently, there's a guy in charge now who may be bad. There's a whole lot of information. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I'll just uh, hammer these into place, I suppose. <laughs> Do you want me to get my hammer out? Should, should I Should I get, there we go. That's gonna fix everything up real good. Another one in there, mm-hmm. Yep, wonderful, and there we go. I feel like I'm about to launch a nuke. Should I be looking directly into this thing? Am I gonna go blind? Control rods in place, cooling process is ready. Now remember, you're my alibi. If this goes wrong, the potato did it. Control rods stuck? Manual insertion required. But, manual is, you want me to go down there? How do I manually, this thing didn't come with like a guide or a manual, it's not Ikea furniture. What do you mean? No key should look like that. I guess we're going down to the reactor. Should I put on a suit? I feel like I should probably put on a suit. I should probably also put down this potato because it has not been in a suit. Everybody work here not have pockets? There's vending machine tokens all over the place. Okay, here we go. Suit is equipped. Okay, you know what? Not putting up with any of your crap. Still out there, bud? Hello? Yeah, I think this is gonna be more of a melee situation. Squash the bug, ow! Smush, smush the bug. What do you have? Meat. Nah, I'll pass. Okay, let's, uh, this is dumb. This, no, no, this, this is dumb. I don't, I don't wanna do this. 
Ow, ow, okay, you know what? Rude. Guess who nearly died of radiation poisoning? I don't think that that salve is really gonna help anything. <laughs> what? I don't know much of a choice. In for a penny, in for a nuclear pounding. Oh, come on, will you just, just stop? Just stop, you don't need to be like that. We can be cool. Which rods did I put in? I think the red ones are probably the bad ones. Okay, stop it. Stop, stop, stop it. Stop it, come on. Don't listen to what the polar bears said. I am rotating smoothly like the good little pawn that I am. There we go. That's good, right? Is it in? Is it in yet? Is Oh, don't want to step over there. Nope, 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 nope. Oh my god, there's so many of them. It's a good thing these suits are somewhat... Okay, I got half a suit left. God, I panicked there for a second. The effect around me is changing. I'm seeing cracks. I, I thought for a split second I was dead. Oh, that's bad. Or is that good? This looks a little weird. More vending machine tokens, sure. Ooh. Interesting. It's like some kind of like cryogenesis. Oh. Wait. Does that mean there's a person in here? <coughs> oh my god, a survivor! Good morning. You're not... Oh, I get it. They left me here. Wow. Thanks for waking me up. Long-term cryosleep can result in a number of issues. <laughs> so, you got room for a bioengineer? I swear, it's actually practical. Bioengineer? Great! That's very nice of you. I'll do my best. Oh! Shogo has joined my crew! That's... Oh, no! I'm... I'm gonna be honest. I was contemplating turning him into meat. <laughs> I can apparently talk to him. Shogo? Shogo is a no-go. Ooh. Oh, he fell again. Get your taint off the ground. <laughs> Not interested. Okay, what do we got? Utopia! That's exactly what I need. And more coins. And an electrical smelter. And a crate. I got so many things, Shogo. Shogo, just just stop Shogo, okay? We're, we're cool. Well, that certainly looks more stable. Or, or maybe it's just the fact that there aren't any blinking lights and alarms and warnings anymore. But I gotta say, of all the places I thought I could find a survivor in this world, in cryosleep next to a melting nuclear reactor was not at the top of my list. It wasn't really on my list at all, to be perfectly honest. But now we have coordinates to Utopia. That is the end game. All right, if you know what I think, that's gonna be it for this episode of Raft, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna survive long enough to make it to Utopia. I might be one giant walking tumor by tomorrow, but if you guys wanna see me try, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe we'll finish things next time. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.